Hi there, my name's Vince and today I'm going to show you how to manually eject a disc from your Xbox One. So for example you might have had a power cut or your, your Xbox might be playing up and you need to get the disc out, it might not belong to you, it might belong to a friend and you need to give it back to them and you can't get at it. Now the first thing to do is do a full power cycle just to see if that solves the problem and if it doesn't then you're actually going to have to manually eject it. Now you are allowed to do this, Xbox actually have a little, uh, a little hole in the side of the, the console that allows you to manually eject it. So there's many ways of doing it. You can use for example a needle, a small needle, or you can use a large paper clip, not a small paper clip, but I think the best thing to use is a 1.5 millimeter Allen key, also known as a hex key. Okay, now they're not expensive, you probably already have some of these or your dad might have some of these or your neighbour might have some of these but uh, for example this uh, lot here was just from the pound shop. Now they're not good quality at all but they're fine for doing this job. So if you were actually using four Allen keys then you might struggle a bit because they'll probably just get rounded but uh, they're fine for this. But annoyingly it has to be really small so the 1.5 millimetre one is perfect in this instance. So if you have a look here you can see the 1.5 refers to the actual thickness of the Allen key. Yeah. Now this is a nice uh, this is a nice long one, but the small ones just about work as well. This is a small 1.5 millimeter Allen key. You can see the difference. Now you can use, for example, a large needle. The only problem with the needle is you do actually need quite a bit of force when you push it into the hole, and uh, it really. Hurts your, hurts your fingers when you're pushing it in. So basically, uh, yeah, you can use a, a large paper clip as well if you've got the very large paper clips, not the small little ones, but the large ones, and you can use them. But the little button that you need to find, sorry, not a button, little hole that you need to find is just on the side of your Xbox console, just by the sync button, and Xbox are very nicely puts a little orange marker. Let's leave that there. So if you can have a look there, can you see the little orange marker in here? And that's the hole that you need to put it in. So uh, you get your Allen key. And just to show you, this one here is a 2mm Allen key. And although you get it in the first bit of the hole, it doesn't go all the way through. Now what I forgot to mention is, do unplug it first from the, from the back. So find your either plug on the wall or unplug the power to your Xbox. Okay, so put that back there. So two millimeters too big, so it needs to be small and also it needs to be long. This is the minimum, this is the minimum that will just about work. It needs to be a tiny bit over four centimeters to work, but I'll double check that now. So what you do is you put it in here and at the moment it feels like it's stuck. You need to wiggle it around just a little bit until you find the actual hole. So I'm not in yet. And now when you get the hole, it becomes a lot less wiggly because when I'm out here, it moves around quite a bit. But then when you put it in there, you feel it there. So you can probably just hear it going in the hole there. So now I'm in the right hole. And if you have a look, it's nice and the Allen key's nice and straight there. And also pretty straight here as well. So it needs to just go in straight. And then what you do is, move this back here, zoom out a bit. You have to use quite a bit of force and you just push in like that. And while you push it in there, the disc will just come out the top there. Okay, so when you push it in, it actually just pushes out the disc and that allows you to pull it out. Yeah, to retrieve your disc. Okay, so just to show you, so when you push it in, you'll probably see the Allen key will come out a bit. So you can push in, push in like that, yeah? So what we're going to do is I'm just going to put a little marker here just to see how much you do actually need to push it in. Okay, a little marker there. So you're going to need to insert something at least, what's that, just over four centimetres, yeah? About 43 mil. Okay, so let's just try it with this small Allen key here. I'm just going to push it in just manually. My Xbox is off at the moment. Just to see if this one does work. So again, find the hole. There. And as you can see, that's gone to the very, 
end of its travel, but it's just worked. Can you see there? It's just popped out. So it definitely can't be any smaller than that. Yeah. And as I say, you can use, for example, a needle, because you're, you're probably going to have a needle somewhere around the house. You can use a needle, but the only problem is on that first bit, it's fine now because it's already been loosened, but on that first bit, it's really hard to push in, so you'd need to get a cloth or something like that to, to put over it. But as you can see, that works there, so it's nice and... Uh, Nice and easy. So that's it. So what you're going to have to do is get yourself a, a 1.5 millimeter Allen key, which is at least 43 mil long, just over four centimeters long. Okay. And uh, yeah, that's it. I hope you found it useful. Thanks for watching. Bye now.